If your child is having surgery or had surgery, you may be wondering, when can I send them back to school, outdoor play, swimming lessons, dance lessons, or any activity that is important for you and your child? Once the surgery is complete, anesthesia medications may be lingering in the body and other restrictions in place, both of which means activities have to be modified accordingly. Since there are so many different types of surgeries ranging from something very simple taking a few minutes to as long as hours, the best suggestion is to follow the advice of your surgeon and the anesthesiologist or the anesthetist to have a speedy and safe recovery. There are some general principles that are widely applicable. On the day of anesthesia, it is usual to feel tired. This tiredness may last a few days depending on the complexity of surgery. Anesthesia may impede the ability to concentrate and it is good for children to take it easy on the day of surgery. Children, particularly older children, should restrict any working or lifting on the day of anesthesia and beyond until cleared by the surgical team. Children, younger or older, should be escorted home by a parent or a responsible caregiver from the hospital after anesthesia. Even if they are at an age where they are allowed to drive a car or ride a two-wheeler or a moped, this driving or riding should not be done on the day of anesthesia and beyond until cleared by the surgical team. The child should not be allowed to perform any potentially dangerous activities like swimming, playing outside, handling sharp objects, or working with tools on the day of anesthesia. There are many things that may play a role to increase the dangers like sleepiness, muscle weakness, tiredness, and sometimes blurry vision. Going back to school is the other frequent question anesthesiologists or surgeons get asked. If the child has a discharge the same day of surgery or the next day, children can usually go back to school the day after they come back home. If the surgery is much more complex, then more time off from school may be required and should be based on your doctor's recommendation. If they have to carry a backpack or a school bag, assist children with this and check with your doctor on what is allowed. Talk to school about the restrictions that are in place. Remember to get a certificate from your doctor if your child's school requires it. It is beneficial to move about in the house or the hospital room on the day of anesthesia and after it is safe to do so unless there are restrictions in place. This helps maintain muscle strength, improves blood flow and breathing. Walking around the home with assistance can be done few minutes every hour when awake and then gradually increased as tolerated. It is normal to feel tired and the child can take it easy and rest when required. Another frequent question that comes up is, can the child go to a wedding, an important show, or a concert on the day of anesthesia? If cleared by the team and the child is feeling okay, then the child could attend these events. The child has to be constantly accompanied by a parent, grandparent, or a responsible caregiver. If the child is still sleepy or unable to walk, they should stay back home. This is possible when the anesthesia is given later in the day or evening. Children are typically given either water or juice to drink prior to leaving the hospital. If there is no nausea or vomiting, the child can continue drinking and then transition back to semi-solid food and then normal diet can be resumed as tolerated. For a child who has had anesthesia for a minor surgery and discharged home the same day, the child is usually ready to have regular dinner unless the anesthesia happens late in the evening. It is not possible to generalize when children can start or restart strenuous exercises like yoga, jogging, tennis, dancing, weightlifting, or any other contact sports like football, basketball, etc. Talk to the doctor before your children resume any of this activity. Same goes for driving a car, or riding a two-wheeler, bicycle, bike, moped, or whatever it may be called where you live. To keep children entertained on the day of anesthesia, parents can play board games or other indoor games with children. Listening to music, watching TV, or spending time just relaxing and napping are other options. If the child is young, rocking, placing the baby on the lap, pacifier, toys, feeding, and timely medicines for pain relief, as recommended by the anesthesia and the surgical team, should help relax the baby. 
click the link above to watch our other anesthesia and surgery related videos. Talk to your anesthesiologist and surgeon and closely follow their advice for activities that could be performed for a safe and speedy recovery. I hope you found value with this video. Like, share and follow us on Health for Kiddies. Smash the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it to watch videos on anesthesia and surgery like this one and other videos related to health and wellness. Thank you and have a great day.